What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Lifestyle Podcast. I am your host, Sonic. And I'm your co-host, Snuff. So, what's on the agenda? All right, so, of course, you know we've been looking around for locations for these uh, shows that we've been planning now. Mm -hmm. So on and so forth. Photo locations, and Mm -hmm. although we have the other warehouse, you know, that we're going to use at our disposal. um, Yeah, should be fun once it, you know, pops off. Exactly. (laughs) Um, But I reached out to a realtor. Mm-hmm. And asked, you know, do you have any locations that we can use for a weekend? Uh-huh. Well, does it need a drive through door? Like a bay door? I'm like... It wouldn't be y- nice. Y- yeah, I, I, I <laughs> hope so. Um, I don't know if I got anything for a car show. Well, what, what sizes you got? And mm-hmm. started reading off bullshit. I'm like, all right, what are the parking lots like? Oh, you can fit like 100 cars here, 75 cars. There. I'm like, all right, if we're getting 300 cars... What the fuck are we doing with a 100 car parking lot? Okay, no thank you. Mm. I mean, it would be nice for like our own personal thing, but yeah, not well, when. Yeah, no, no, no. So I said, hey, do you know anybody who may have a parking lot available? Mm-hmm. Why not use your job? I'm like, because it's a conflict of interest. I work there. Mm. Makes sense. And he's like, oh shit. Well, you know your, gro- your your parking lot's pretty large. You could do it that way. Uh what are you guys doing? I start telling him about the team. You know, we mm-hmm. have a website, podcast, blah, 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 blah. He asks, where do you do the podcast? I'm like, at a studio. He goes, what about the parking lot for the studio? I'm like, it's a parking deck and no. <laughs> Nobody driving their cars into the city to see us. Absolutely not. No, the, the roads are fucking way too shitty anyway. So, <laughs> Until they fix things. Yeah. <laughs> so that happened. Uh, so the guy gives me this other num- n- n- the name of a guy who runs another car group. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to disclose that yet because, you know, of course, we don't want to um, be Fuck a game. hindrance. Yeah, yeah. That's a good word for it. And, uh, <laughs> but to be fair, this guy that runs this other car group is all high-end cars. Okay, so that's side of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm just curious for your take on high-end mm-hmm. cars versus us versus how they move and how they do their things and... Do they really do shows? I know they do a lot of rallies and... It's interesting, at least for from what I've seen over the years. I will never catch, well, better said, you will never catch a car team of high-end cars going to, like, Hot Import Nights or going to, like, Elite Tuner. Nothing against those brands because, obviously, we love those shows anyway. But that is already going on a different caliber uh, why? I don't fucking know, to be honest. It's stupid. Because if your car's fly, your car's dope, because half these guys have it at least wrapped with a set of wheels on it, yeah. you could bring it to a fucking show. Yeah, yeah. What the rest of us? The rest of us peasants <laughs> with our Nissans and E36s and E30s and whatnot. Um, but for some apparent reason, I don't know, they get like a stick in their ass once they, I guess, it's a six-figure car and they don't want to be parked next to a, like, a Honda? Yeah, like, I don't fucking, like, I don't comprehend it, but... Won't they still go to the McDonald's and park their car and go and get McDonald's No, are you kidding me? They won't go to Mickey D's. Really? When was the last time you saw a Lamborghini and Mickey D's? Actually, I saw a <laughs> yellow uh, Gallardo, like an old school 2000s Gallardo, mm-hmm. on 32nd Street McDonald's recently. Like, maybe the end... Oh, it's probably of- because he had to pay, he did the payment. That's all he had What's left that? over. <sighs> Makes total fucking sense, you're right. <laughs> no, this was, um, I want to say, car show season last year. You know, it's, it, it's just weird because for some apparent reason, like, you will only catch these guys with their, like, their supercars. And, like, honestly, they're all six figures. That's, even the cheapest one is, let's say, maybe breaking close to, like, 100-something. Corvette. You're still a six-figure car. You know what I mean? And technically, even half the Corvettes. That we were looking at. Yeah. They're all Z06s. Yep. So in the day, they're not even base model Corvettes. That are reasonable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they may be older style Z06s. But, but Z06s. half of them are like the, yeah, no, I bought that new right out of the fucking showroom. I'm like, oh, cool. That's great to have 130000 at that time. Just a which now is like, you know, close to two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's like their weekend car. Their Z06s. They're all fully maxed the fuck out. They don't do their own DIYs. 
You don't think they, they get under the car? And no, I'm pretty sure they'll do the basics, like a brakes and fucking oil changes. But you're gonna, you think one of those guys knows how to fucking rip apart his own headlight and do something creative? Uh, you think he even wants to? No, he's just gonna go. He goes, what are those? Two thousand? Peanuts. Ordered. Next day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me no. I I don't know why. I think it's because once you get to that, I guess level of life of life and bank account, you, like you don't care. I guess to get your hands dirty because you don't have to. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, maybe that's the 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 like the, the the chemistry there in the brain. If I have X number, you know, sitting in the bank account, why am I gonna bust my ass? on a Saturday or Sunday to take my bumper off, to swap out these headlights, if I can just buy these fucking headlights, bring it to a fucking shop, you know how much you want? 600. You know, done. 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 Can take I, it. And you know what? I'll be back in a few hours. Yeah. You know, that type of shit. You'll be back in a few hours? A thousand. <laughs> but you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that's the mentality. Maybe that is the mentality. Do, do I hate on that? No. I mean, I wish. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. It would be nice to not have to fucking do something. But at the same time, I'm coming from a different perspective of I don't like nobody touching my shit anyway. Mm. So I will be the one ripping my bumper off and swapping out the headlight. But again, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird because maybe these guys are the ones that really never had to do mechanic work. Okay, I can see that. That could be a thing. There's so many different possibilities. But, it, you know, going back to not straight too far away from it, these older gentlemen, because they are older, they are a lot older. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, maybe there's one or two young bucks. Young bucks, and by me, my young bucks, you know, late twenties, early thirties type of thing. Scat pack owners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, if you put them all together, what? Maybe that young is just because their dad's in it, oh. or their grandpa's in it, or well, they bought the sticker. Or they bought the sticker because a lot of the stuff there is just pretty much a membership. So if you don't want to row with any crews, but you want to be part of something, yeah, sure. Give them 50 bucks a year. You get a sticker too. Hmm. You don't have to be really modded or have basic whatever. It's not like us. You know, six. as long as you have six modifications, we can You're consider right. you part of the team. And again, before that, I didn't even have those rules. I mean... In the yeah. team. Okay. Because I was like, all right, if you're cool and I like your personality, I like how you are, just flow nicely with everyone, why the fuck not? Come on. I mean, I'm still like that. Yeah, but when it comes to, like, parking your car with us and you're not, no, you park over there. You can hang out with us physically. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm saving them the fucking bullshit. Because I used to have, you know, yeah, you know, four, five, six cars that are like, oh, wow, nice, in the team. And then I'll have, like, two or three that are just like, eee trying to get there and then but fucking people are people this is why this is why aliens won't come down and say hi to us <laughs> the guys will be like yo man this is nice this is nice what the fuck is that doing there stop and like half the time they don't know who the, if the owner's right next to them and honestly half of them don't give a fuck so while we're all getting like the you know people half the team is getting like praises like yeah dude, this is nice or whatever because you always get that one you know what is this piece of shit doing here you're gonna get that one and like, what the fuck is this why is this not in the parking lot instead of here like you got the you one as off. like That's trying <laughs> you trying to come up and eh, it sucks it sucks like <laughs> you just want to walk away and be like that's not my car you know what i mean so i learned i was like all right to save this bullshit six mods Exterior. Why? People that don't really know cars will still kind of figure that's not normal and that shouldn't be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I figured that way we can kind of save that part of the humiliation and possibly just losing a car in the, in the community anyway. Because if they, if they get that, it, all the shows that they go to, guess what? They just stop coming. No, oh, yeah, that's a the thing. They... they fade themselves out so thinking the grand scheme of it be like why the fuck do i want to be this if everybody's just gonna talk shit hold on well i've heard people say that about certain cars the person leaves a team and joins another team and then that team dies again because it's died for the third or fourth it's, time and then they they're, they're just rolling around with something their mom paid for and nobody <laughs> wants them at a show <laughs> um it's 
sad, interesting, and just everything all rolled into one. I'm trying to control myself from like laughing. Um, there's, you know, quite a few crews, even by our neck of the woods. Oh yeah. They all spring. They all spring up in spring, just like the flowers. You just, like you water and them, and they just like pop out like fucking. The and then, like dies. before winter, it's like poof, ball of hay rolling through the street. It happens. It happens. I'm not. Why? Who knows? Chemistry of the people, bad management. Uh, I used to know, wow, Jesus Christ, old school crews that that would do like member dues and shit like that. I'm not opposed to it. No, but, but I always strayed away from it personally. Yeah. That's just fucking with other people's money with like being part of my brain fart. So I don't, why should I charge you if you want to, if you're down to be part of my brain fart? You get me? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's my mentality and that's me. Oh, the crews were like, no, 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 you know, it's 20 bucks a month and, you know, or $30 a month or 15 bucks a month or at the time, you know, $10 a month, whatever the fucking case may be. You would ask, oh, what's it going for? Like, oh, team barbecues. Y'all niggas eating steak and lobster every motherfucking weekend? Because, yo, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 fucking people paying you that. Somebody's making money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, do I, like, whatever. That's the way you want to roll and do your things. It's your crew. Do what the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Me personally, it's like, hey, everybody want to do a barbecue? All right, everybody chip in fucking ten, fifteen dollars. Let's all get what the fuck we need, and we go that day, and that's it, done over you with. You bring me, you bring. Drinks, oh yeah, you just bring plates and cups, and I don't like. I said, I never. You bring your wife's under- tits. <laughs> well, you you have to have leave to you with the hairy toes at home. Don't want none of that. Nothing. Thank you, roast beef. Um. <laughs> we heard it's good. We just don't want to see it. We just don't want to see it. Flap it in the wind. Anyway, um. <laughs> uh, bye bye. You're so stupid. But, you know, it's it's one of those things that I don't personally have ever, like, I don't see the point of it. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah. again, that is me. Everybody can do whatever the fuck they want when they have their own crews. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, but going back to, like, this older crowd and this, like, a different side of the car community, one, they tend to themselves. They're never on the news. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You definitely don't see fuck boys or send the boys in that shit. No, you don't. Huh. Even the youngest ones, like I said, late 20s, early 30s, because aside from that, everybody else is just really, like, really middle-aged or hitting the 60 mark, but they also have six-figure cars. Okay, that's fair. You know what I mean? So maybe it's that. Maybe it's, like I said, the bank account, the maturity level. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure they got to have one fucking knucklehead with a six-figure car and just does donuts. They All day in the to. fucking they like they there ha they ha there has to be one. I don't want to hear that shit. Like no, never us. Playing golf every weekend. No, fuck you. There has to be the one idiot, the one idiot that macked the pole by accident. It's just it doesn't get known. <laughs> you know what I mean? Under the rug quickly. Who, who, who goes street racing with a wide body? <laughs> you Civic, pull up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> with my McLaren. <laughs> like you know what I mean? There there has to be the one. There has to be one. But ready for this? Oh, hold on, hold on. What? What would you say mm-hmm. if this all works out and they decide to co-host a show with us? I know you're not big into co-hosting shows. That's cool. No, I'm not. Um, but here- It would be cool in the sense of you get to see that other side. But what happens when we find those few guys that are like, you know what? I'm really into the tuner scene. I have a classic car. Oh. I want to be part of that team. See, that's a different thing completely. Do we start picking those guys up now? I mean, I'm down to pick up anything that has four wheels and looks nice. Modded, modded, big fucking asterisk before people are like <laughs> jumping on the keyboard. Ferraris. <laughs> what um, what mods have you done? Nothing. <laughs> Go to hell. Uh, it's, it's a different thing. Okay. You, you, I only say this because you mentioned like the classic or like a classic Corvette owner or whatever fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The classic Corvette owner, again, this is... Big asterisk. Big asterisk because maybe there is the one or two that just likes the car scene in general and is open to seeing a, you know, a white body Z with a humongous big wing on it. Oh, no, they're not. Because you bring that to like a classic show. Or not a classic show, but a show that's mingled. They'll piss my vents. Every single old man is going to probably be like... The fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And go fiberglass. It's crap. You should have done it with metal, like a real man. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I walk over to the front of my car and say, "Tap on that." And they'll go. And I'll be like, "What? The f- 
Do you know what that is? It's fiberglass. No, it's not. It's fucking carbon, you asshole. Rap. It's fake. It's not real carbon. I just... will kill her and her skyline. <laughs> oh. Also, he just that guy just imported another skyline. Oh, did he really? And he's married. I well engaged to be married to her. Oh, okay. Well, you know, yeah. congrats. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Um, Kudos. But again, that's just a different thing because even going down the classic route, that's a different animal yeah. to the tuner scene. Because there's the when you really have to break it down, the car community as a whole. Yeah. If we go down the bottom of the list, and I really mean that by the bottom of the list, it's the fuckboys and send the kids. Um. Hmm. What? Now, let me finish the list and then we can kind of rearrange things. Okay. Okay. There's the send the kids and the fuckboys. I consider them both to, yep. you know, whatever. Uh, the purists. You look confused. That's a dra- dramatic jump. Go ahead. There is the... Like I said, I'm not doing this in order. I'm just going... I can give you the order after this. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, like I said, the purist. There's the, the, the hot rodder. Okay. Yeah. The modder. Which are two different things completely. Okay. The low rider. Mini trucking. Okay. Okay, okay. Race. Oh, race inspired. Then the real race category. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the wild section. Exotics. And then there's supercars. Exotics usually are supercars. Mm-mm. Name an exotic that's not a supercar. An exotic is, let's say, for example, what would be considered the poor man's Ferrari. Like the California. That is not the poor man's Ferrari. In our eyes, having to take out a second mortgage for a fucking, you know, $100,000 for a car oh, is... Oh, poor man's Ferrari is a Lotus. <laughs> wow. Wow. Am I wrong? Not wrong. It's not, not technically reliable. Wrong. It's built for the track. It's not going to be But again, you know, see, in that world, the exotics is the, the plain Jane 2002 Lamborghini that you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, for which sure. Which are under $100,000 now. But then when you get to the supercars, that's when you're looking at the, you know, but 150 be, and up. But to be fair, you can buy whole Lotus leases for like 30 grand nowadays. Yeah, but would you consider that an exotic or even a supercar? Um, that's a better question. Um, due to the way the chassis is made and the weird headlights and yada, 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 I would have to say, yeah, that could count it's- as... Unique because we don't see many. It's a 1.8 engine, uh, but again, it's only 30k. A yeah. uh, 30k, nigga, bro. People are buying fucking worse cars for that are worth more. Okay. Why no. don't we see more more Lotuses then? Because what that is is just a reliable car. No, what that is is just the uniqueness of it. Okay, that's fair. But I'm talking about in total of like an entire like car community t- style thing. Like, you, ready for ready for, ready what? for this? You're not ready for this. You can even buy a F four thirty. Okay. For sixty two grand. But what year is it? Nineteen what? Eighty. It says eighty, but it's not. That doesn't look like an eighty. <laughs> no, <they're laughs> to be honest, that does not. A that's a hell of a typo. Two. So 92. But again, those, buying them now, yeah, they'll be worth money later on. Yeah, that's, but we're getting into like the whole Haggerty thing of it, which yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. different spiel completely. I'm talking about like the classes of in the car community. Okay. But I would say Lotus is definitely an exotic brand. Okay, okay. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> We can we can both agree that the send the kids are not buying lotuses. No, no, they're no, they're they're, they're just putting them off around and they're fucking swinging it and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Then there's. Uh, what did we say? Uh, what was the next? I already fucking forgot. Because you made up the bullshit list. I I didn't make a bullshit list. I just fucking bro. The it's split like this. No. Think about it. Hear me out. Purists love going to shows. And cars and coffee. And cars and coffee. 
Yes, yes, yes. That's the thing. Yes. Scammer but the purists, scared. the purists, want the car to look exactly the way it looked from like 1980 or 1990 or 1995. Yeah, they're boring. They do missionary every day. Get it? Um, it's uh, you're so stupid. Missionary. They're boring. <laughs> but there is a thing to that. It's it's part of the community. Whether we want to, you know, agree or disagree, it is part of the. Listen, I, I love my car. I just don't want it modded. It looks great the way it is. It's but, that mentality. Yeah, which is a fucking lying bullshit mentality because his wife will have fake tits, <laughs> and she'll be more used in the car. I don't want to hear it. Listen, if you're gonna live that kind of lifestyle, dude, keep the let fuck them, out of cars. Listen, let let them live. Let them live. It's just a, I'm sorry. A, it's a section of the car community, but we have to acknowledge them. They're the purists. Okay? We got that out of the way. You good? You good? Your eyeballs uh, done twitching a little bit? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. We have the hot rodder. Those motherfuckers will do anything they want whenever they want. Will chop up anything and make it work and make it look dope. They will make doors They out do of not care plates. about paint. Nope. As long as it's welded together and it rolls on the street good and it looks nice, they it's don't a hot care rodder. about safety. Yeah, no, fuck that. Oh, you want a boat wheel as your steering wheel? Got you. <laughs> The modder is what we start as. Yeah, me and you were in that class. And like practically everybody else that we know, mm. if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Why? We've taken a car, completely modded it to the balls. Yeah. Okay. But we'll get to our, how we kind of veer off the list to another, li to another section of that list. Because some modders will just stop at a certain section. Look really nice. You have mods, but that's it. You're not gonna take it to the next level. Like you're not gonna mold your wide body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna sit there and really do crazy body work and stuff like that. Then there's the uh, wild class. The what? Wild class. The wild class. The wild class is already what we kind of fall into by accident from mine. No, motherfucker, you fall in there. I'm not there yet. No, no, no. Your car's Give me there. Give another year. Your car's there. Your car's there. Hate to break it to you, bitch. Your car's there. Not yet. Not <laughs> Your car's yet. there. Your car's there. You're fully molded? I'm sorry, what? Custom front bumper? What? Custom rear? What? Custom paint? What? Custom interior? What? No, but it's Car fiber here? What? Car fiber there? What? Not I can go on. Oh, you want me to go on? You want me to go on? It's on not the there yet. It's not there yet. <laughs> Wait till the roof comes off. <laughs> oh, oh. But you see what I mean? You're going from modding and you're falling over. You're like you're falling over the cliff to the fucking wild. Um... The supercar guys and the exotic guys, they stick together. They do. Okay. But like I said, those, you, they don't like bother going to the shows that we go to. Hmm. Maybe there is a show that is for just their yeah. classes of cars yeah. that we don't know about because obviously we don't have any cars like that, nor do we kind of mingle with those people. With those people. Yeah, I got it. Not because we don't want to mingle with them. If you like a car, I like a car, we're going to mingle. That's the way it fucking works. True. It just happens to be like the environment hasn't put those two people put together. The two together. The only time I've ever seen the clash of, not the clash, but like the mashup, better said, of both worlds, of technically all the worlds, is Cars and Coffee. Oh, yeah, no. You and specifically will... Cars and Coffee in, in Paramus, in Garden State Mall. Ooh, I like that. The from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum and everything else in between, you will see at a Cars and Coffee. Hmm. Because I've seen like bagged Silverados parked to a Porsche 911 Turbo that's like gorgeous as fuck. Next across is a chopped up 56 Cadillac. And next to it is a rat rod that's never seen pain in a day in its life. Hmm. Like if you touch it, you touch the patina, you got to get a tetanus shot. Your hands look like you had Doritos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all day. That's the only time I've seen the mashup of everything that's automotive. Then you got the one guy that's a purist, but the guy rolled in with, like, the first Model T Ford. Mm. What, what, you're going to white body a Model T Ford? You know what I would do with that? What? Throw some 26s and donk the shit out of it? No, no, no. I even forgot about the donk, guys. I would drop it on the ground. 
a Model T. Low <laughs> as Henry Ford shit. is rolling in his motherfucking grave right now. Fuck that motherfucker. He is gonna haunt the piss out of you. He started the five day work week. And you work. have a Ford? Oh man, he's Kiss coming my for you. Balls. He is coming for you so hard. I love sh- <laughs> if I ever get He's gonna chance. grab your toes in the middle of the night and be like, what the fuck you saying, bitch? <laughs> Look at that shit. Stuff be moving already in the fucking studio because of you. Keep talking shit about Henry Ford. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> Fucking punk bitch. Five day work week because of him. And his <laughs> new assembly line. Suck my balls. But uh, his mother gets AIDS in her left Wow, nipple. wow. I'm pretty sure she's dead. I'm so pissed that I have to work five days a week because, because of, of this hard. Because of Henry Ford. She decided to open up her legs and now I have to work five days a week. <laughs> Fuck her. Uh, but again, it's it's and to go back to this whole like the like the supercar stuff and like the stuff what we saw from that other yeah, I'm sorry, from I'm our other group. That. Um some of them do tend to look down. Alright, hear me out. What? Alright. Here's what I'll give you as far as classes. Hmm. And why the supercar guy fits in all of them. Because he has more money than all of us and can buy all our cars? No 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 oh. it's, it's, money is irrelevant. Okay. You have your scum of the scum send the kids. Mm-hmm. Of those and the kids, there will be a few Hellcats. A few? Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, I was being sarcastic. But go on. Those Hellcats will be the same people to show up to the Cars and Coffees with the supercars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I'll stop you where it'll differ. Uh, you can do that in a little bit. Okay, go, go. Continue. So after your scum of scum, you have your kids who just hang out in a parking lot Mm -hmm. and do the little meets. And there's nothing wrong with those kids. They're just quiet, hanging out, looking at other people's builds. Right. That's fine. That's your your median. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. It's true. Again, they can range from your send the kids who don't feel like sending it that night. Very true. Who don't feel like spending the fucking $400 on drift tires. Mm -hmm. That's true. And you'll get your kids with the scat packs and the Corvette guys, and even a few classic cars. If they know it's a JDM meet, they'll come in the classic cars. Mm. You'll see the 69 Charger. You'll see the GTOs. Just the spike guys, and people will be like, holy shit, that's cool. It's annoying, but it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eight, six day uh-huh. in Edgewater. You will see classic muscle cars just out of spite, and it is awesome. <laughs> no shit, really, yeah, out of yeah, spite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those are the parking lot guys. And then you have people like me and you. Mm. that go to shows that build their car for fucking show yeah yeah ready for this mm-hmm. those exotic guys can fit into that too because they can go and show their cars are they going to win trophies based on mods no cleanliness maybe I mean you know what's given that I have always seen the exotic class asterisk mm. is usually the bone stock uh, supercar exotic whatever the fuck it is uh, or it just has wheels mm-hmm. and they take it hands down I've seen that I've seen that what is that uh, 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 Park Show yeah Howdy Poor Nights and uh, another mm-hmm. crappy show I used to go to which I'm not even going to bother giving them clout yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck them <laughs> um, and then you have the really crazy people which have and these, these people vary from really fucking insanely rich to really dirt poor and you can tell by the build the race car guys that go and drift and track and time okay. attack their shit yeah. yeah 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 you're right all walks of life dude you could not put a finger on somebody it's true and if I told you yeah I tracked my car you'd be like oh that's cool you wouldn't double guess it you'd be like yeah I expect it to come from all everywhere every angle okay I can give you that I and can give you, you that. have the most elite who will not take their car to the track Mm. And will only do rallies and supercar rallies. These guys, and that's where they fit in there too. So they fit across the spectrum. They're regular people. They're your average Joe. Just you know what? Let's be honest. They want to be around like-minded people. They don't want to be at the send that meets with the scum. But the some of the, the cream of the crop of the scum can hang out with them. Yeah. If I believe if they have, I guess a car that that flows with their. Not with the era, but uh, going back to like... Has these, the same flavor. Yeah, like these Challenger guys. <clears throat> Maybe not the standard V6 one. 
not gonna wink an eye at it or no. give two fucks. But if but you have a but if you have a but if you have a scat pack, if you have an SRT, if you have a demon eye, if you do have you know the yeah the help cap, but you are getting into that price point too. Yep. Which then goes back to the same thing. Some of them do look down. Because, let's say, argument's sake, okay? Yeah. A Z06. Brand new Z06. Mm. What the fuck are they even going for now? Like, closer to? Yeah, about there. Well, One, 170s, 180s, give yeah, or take. Yeah, call it that. Okay? What's it have horsepower? Five or better. Okay. Now, that, for argument's sake, you come now with your Z. Motor swapped and LS, blah blah blah, all this bullshit. I can't believe you just said that fucking out loud. What? I'm just. This is hypothetical, nigga. This is hypothetical. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Hypo- this, this is hypothetical. This is hypothetical. <laughs> Fully done to the balls. Yeah. Rocking like what? Seven, eight. Uh, twelve, eleven. Oh, okay. You want to get more hypothetical? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go with eleven. Happy medium. Eleven. Yeah. If you just. Go show parking. They're not gonna. They're not gonna give a fuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit them at a hundred roll. No, when you pop the hood is what, the second you gain that respect from that side. Yeah, you think I'm gonna have to pop the hood for this? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hold on, guys, this is gonna be really funny. What? You think I'm gonna have to open my hood? Tell me more. Yeah, yeah, I do believe. Oh, that's what you want to do? <laughs> that's really what you want to do? Say it out loud now. Because you started this. Okay, okay. Cut the hole in the hood so everyone can see the dynamic, ginormous fucking turbo coming out of an exhaust pipe. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, no. You don't have to show... I don't have to open my hood. ...your hood because they can see it through your hood. So, yeah, yeah. But they would have to see that humongous onion (laughs) sticking out of your fucking hood for the guy to be like, okay... If you guys have ever seen uh, one of those giant avocados, the giant avocados, <laughs> the turbo is about that size. <laughs> just about? Yeah. About yeah, a good 10-pound baby. Not the bullshit you see at the supermarket. No, no, no. You're going to have to go to, like, <laughs> the, the the real Hispanic stores where the avocado, you have to carry it with... Like, like a baby. Like a baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to yeah. carry it like a baby, put it in your backpack. It's that size. Um, but again, my point is that chances are... Again, I could be wrong. There could be, like I said, the few that appreciate anything that's modded from that side of the spectrum of the car world. Uh, but you are going to run into, like, the one or two... Who don't respect it. They're going to look at you and be like, that thing's a fucking toy. That thing is garbage. And you know what I'll say? With that mentality. I'll, 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 I got the answer already. What? What? Pay five grand. If you can't beat me, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean... Are you wrong in doing that? No, of course not. But again, this is just going on a, on a basis of like why they decide to get so mm, cocky about themselves mm-hmm. because of the car. Like I said, so many different things that could be the reasoning why. <sighs> we never know. We're only just hypothetically yeah, from what we've seen with our own eyes or like, you know, they're like, oh, well, that's a nice team. Yeah, that's a nice crew. But they don't really respect the cars in it because why? They're not worth, you know, six figures? Yeah, yeah I got it. You do, Sally. F- not, like I said, not saying, not saying all of them are like that because there are, gonna be, there are a few that are like, as long as it's modded, they appreciate it. Why? Because they can, they can see, yeah, your car was worth that, but with all the shit you put into it, you probably could just sold it and bought one of something else, mm-hmm. you know, one of these. You know, in, you, the, some people get in that aspect. The, other, the answer to that is, why would I buy that? He can buy that. He can buy that. She can buy yeah, that. Yeah, it's she true. That's the that. mentality. It really is. Sadly. Good luck building this. And I've got double the horsepower, you, you punk bitch. Yeah. No. Like I said, you're not wrong. It's just, sadly, s- some of those car owners that, again, are like the supercar owners and shit like that, they don't, they don't care for the rest of us. We don't, we're not irrelevant. We're, we are irrelevant to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's sad. And it sucks because it would be awesome to have the mingle of all the worlds together. And again, I only have gotten to see it once. Hmm. Well, not once, but once a year, better said. 
whenever there's cars and coffee. Because cars and coffee doesn't, you know, it's for anything and everything. Yeah. 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 So you do run into, like, the mom minivan on, like, bags. I like that. And But you go from that end to, like, the fucking Bugatti. Nobody is showing up to... What? I got pictures. Stop it. Yes, yes. They're roped off. Like, they're legitimately roped off in Cars and Coffee. Yeah, no, we're not kidding. You can even go back to our, like, our YouTube channel. I've recorded it. Like, they put all the supercars in the middle of the lot, and they just completely barricade it. So nobody's going through. The same way that happened in the media day when we went to Philly. Oh, no, but we put our backpacks on the floor. Hey, guys, please be careful. Don't lick the car. You know, shit like that. But it's the same shit. But those you really can't go near. Hmm. And they do have security. You can stand there and argue the concept of, are they really part of the fucking show if we came and walked through them? Yeah, not walk through them, but you know what I mean. Just look at them. Look at them, really. Like look at them. No, you gotta oh, we're be not good enough to touch the hide. Them. We're not good enough. And like I said, to a certain standpoint, you understand it is an X number car. Something someone's, you know, brushes by with a fucking jacket and leaves a fucking scratch. You know, congrats, your kid's never getting into college because you're gonna have to pay for that quarter panel. <laughs> or like, hey, sign your house over. Because I own it now. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, to a certain degree, you can kind of understand it to a certain degree. To a certain level, you can. Okay, okay. Because I'm pretty sure if everybody that went to, like, a Cars and Coffee understood the car game, Mm -hmm. whether you're broke with just a Civic on tints to a, this is my third Bugatti, (laughs) you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we more people will be allowed to like not touch them, obviously, but you know you're close enough to look and whatever. Stick your head inside. But these these events are for everyone, hmm. so you do get the mom and dad and the five year old that just like cool cars. They saw a few fucking Fast and the Furious movies. They think everybody's the same thing from these fucking movies. They think everybody's Vin Diesel with the crispy Tims, falling out of planes and shit. <laughs> They meet you, and it's like, just you and your girlfriend? That's all the family you have? This car must be very slow. <laughs> you don't have 16 gears like Vin, Vin does in, in the arc. So, so when did your car come out of the plane? No? No. Oh, no, no. I was the one parked in the back. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't know. But you know what I mean? Because you do fall. You do get that. You do. I remember this was years ago. Fucking years ago. Um, I forgot what Fast and Furious movie it was, to be honest. Okay. We went, we went to see the movie and all this mess of shit. We're there, come out of the movie, walking by and same, a mom with her kid. Saw the cars, cool, taking a picture, all that. And I'll never forget it. And it's been like the running joke every now and then. And she was like, looked at us and goes, were you guys in the movie? I remember looking. I was like, yeah, this bitch playing with me. But she said it really serious. I was like, oh, you're serious? She's like, yeah, yeah. Like, these, all these cars were in the movie, right? Like, they're all, like, you know, like, extras, like, in the backgrounds and all, like, in the, all the cool scenes. And before I got to say, no, ma'am, we just work on our cars and we love, you know, the whole whatever. A kid in the team was like, yep, we are in the back. And she's like, that is awesome. Billy, stand next to that one and take a picture. We can send it to Grandma. I'm just there, like... Really, bro? Like, you had to lie to the fucking lady. And she's like, oh, my God, I cannot wait. But tell everybody, you, all these cars were extras in the movie. I was like, yeah, yeah, you can hardly see us. Okay. At that rate, I, I can't say no. I got to fucking go with it because, you know, <laughs> fuck over here. The side is screaming out, yeah, we were in the back. I'm like, yeah, far back. <laughs> like, if you pause it and really zoom in, you'll catch our headlight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you catch the same headlight as ours. You know what I mean? But and I remember that. And I remember that has been like the joke ever since. That has been the joke ever since whenever there's a new Fast and Furious movie coming out. The the kid always sends me a DM to this day. We're extras. I'm like, yo, fuck you, bro. <laughs> fuck you, because I'm still never never letting that shit go. But, you know, again, going back to the whole like supercar thing. It sucks that they do look down on us. But what are you gonna do? 
it's but it's you don't know whether they look down on us really no really. like i said really really no you never know it's just from my own personal experience that i've seen in in doing so many shows <clears throat> other people that have ranted on facebook really yeah bro you don't even have to go that far the original fast and the furious the fucking scene with the guy in the ferrari and they were test driving the super at the light well, then you can afford, pal. And he blew his doors off. Okay. But That's that, me and you when, this, when that, this motor gets dropped in. <laughs> but that is right there. You want to hear a good story? Go for it. About Jared. All right, what happened? What are you breaking out? So there was a Rolls Royce in Munaki. Rolls Royce? Yeah. It's okay. It's still here. Okay. Um, Rolls Royce Phantom, to be exact. Oh, okay. And he was on Kennedy, and Jared caught him on Kennedy. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, Jared goes on live. Oh, yeah, always, all the time. So, of course, they're picking up speed and they're going through the lights and they get to about like 50th Street. Okay. Where that little turn happens and mm-hmm. then all the lights start to turn the same color after that. Okay, yeah, they are synced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> they're synced enough to get past mm, 47th. Give or take, yeah. I forgot at what time they sync up and everything's like green, but yeah, yeah, yeah I know like, what you're talking about. Midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I got to watch this at 8 o'clock in the morning when I woke up the mm. following day. No. Oh. And uh, Jared's like, yo, so what? You want to lock it up? What you want to do? And the guy's like, bro, this is a half a million dollar car. You're not taking it. And that piece of shit Subaru. What is Stop, that? really? They say he said that to him? What is that, a WRX? And you hear Jared go, vroom, plop, 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 plop. It's an STI. You want it or nah? You want the sauce or nah? And yo, when I tell you, Jared put like six bus links on this motherfucker. But yo. was he like, was the yes. Phantom was like. You heard him skirt and Jared let him take off first. And then Jared. No shit. Yep. Am I surprised by this? No. Absolutely not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm honestly not. But the guy was talking shit because Jared had a regular Subaru. Okay, but again, you just pointed a, another example. Oh. I, I took it from like a Hollywood scene. No, but this was a true and story. And this was like I woke real up on life. Saturday morning, and Jared was out racing a fucking Rolls Royce on a Friday night. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. That kid kills me. All the time. He kills my, <laughs> like, he hurts my heart, dude. Like, <laughs> he's going to figure it out. I promise yeah, he's done Eventually it. he will. But, and that's, and that's just one of the stories on how some, like, or those owners do look at us fucking weird. Or they do look at us like we're not important. I have a city number calling me. That's yeah, probably a spam. I'm here to call you about your car, <laughs> your car warranty expiring? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who this is. What, what do you want to do? You're going to pick it up live on the, on the podcast? Mm, no. <laughs> That was the most unsure no I think I've ever heard from you. What? You waiting for them to text? Uh, I'm trying to figure out who the fuck this is. Oh, seriously? Bro, it's fire spam. It's not even that serious. Uh, oh, God. Here we go. Give me a second. This is going to be fun. Yep. Hey, uh, I'm recording a podcast. I'll call you right back. <laughs> well, he's yeah. not famous. <laughs> you, you know who that is. Who was that? George. Oh, okay. He's not going to fucking listen to this. He's probably calling me and asking me for a fucking favor. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but anyway. If you edit that out, off. No, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it because that was actually good. It wasn't that bad. He was like, oh, I'm going to fuck your mother. He didn't say anything no, stupid like that. So. He, I'll myrtleize him. <laughs> I'll punch him in his fucking good eye. <laughs> You're so stupid. I don't care. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's sad. And like I said, you pointed out a good ex- a good one a good example actually because that happened in real life we've only seen the the car show side of it yeah on how they act and how they hmm, trash yeah even though you know x person spent you know 15 grand 20 grand on a paint job yeah and it still looks at them like me you're crap to me uh so it sucks it does suck what do you got time wise what oh we're good we're good still we're good still. Where are we at? Oh, f- like 44 minutes in, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can rant. We can rant. We're good. We're good at that. God, this is actually a really good episode. So um, it's more like real life because I'm pretty sure it's happened to somebody, anyone that listens. Down. 
Well, you Granted, have to, not to Hold on. Even what? Mercedes-Benz drivers and fucking BMW drivers. No, this might be a real thing. Dude, they might really think they're better than us. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's the thing. That's the thing. BMW owners that, that, that yeah, lease their brand I, new I, Beamers and their M's. They think they're the shit. Shit. Yeah, I know. But they never use their blinkers. Really, I never use my blinkers either because I have an really, E36, really, so I get really? it. The banks own their car. And I don't want to hear anything else than that. Yeah, no, you're you're Unless not wrong. you paid wrong. it off full. You're not wrong. The bank owns you. You're not wrong whatsoever. Not your car, bro. Sorry. But I. But this is now going. Like I said, we don't have to go to the spectrum of like Bugattis and fucking Ferraris. No, we can go, go down locally. to like a fucking M4. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. So maybe these people. But it's the point. It's it's exactly the point. Why? Why? What is the need that you not. think you are better than me? I didn't want to have that thought process that they think they're better. That but because you it. were you were good enough to fucking you know lease or whatever. Yeah, lease. a fucking brand new M4 or M5 or M7. Ugh. I still have my whatever year car and whatever. What? That kills. Like me. I said, some of them are not like that. But sadly, some are. That's my whole premise of it. And it sucks. But again, we don't even have to go that much further down. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's one of those things. Huh. It sucks. I think, I, I think, end of the day, everybody should come down to, like, the, 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 the main line on the road of, you love cars, I love cars. That's it. End it there. Whether what you have. And this is like a... This is not much more of a speech or none of this bullshit. No, but it's very kumbaya of you. It is very kumbaya. But I say it in the aspect of all the BS that we've been seeing online. Because it happens. Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> Everybody just needs a hug. Everybody needs to be loved by their mothers more. <laughs> And some of you don't even need to be at. <laughs> and the rest of you should have just been a stain on a napkin. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. On a side of eh, three. Probably not, but anyway. At the Lincoln Motel. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he went Lincoln Motel. Uh, but no, you know, it's it's gotten scary. It's also gotten stupid. Like some of the stuff I even see online, I'm like, I'm losing brain cells. What? Take over stuff. Why? Again, we, go, we always do end up going back to the takeover stuff and all that shit, but... How can we not? Because there's more idiots, and it's they literally do it for the fucking clickbait online. They're crying for attention, is what they're doing. You know, and it sucks because end of the day, you are fucking it up for everyone. Because that one cop that don't give a fuck whether you drive a Civic Type R or whether you got a fucking Bugatti, yo, you're gonna get fucking pulled over if he feels like pulling you over. Mm-hmm. 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 End of the day. If you have a red E36, even though it's a cow, they're going to pull Oh, man. Over. That's why we fucking move her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But anyway. Um, but, yeah, it just fucking sucks. It really does fucking suck. You know what's funny? What? I'll give you something I see out of the exotic guys mm -hmm. that they don't think they're better than us, and they, they fall into the modern category. What? Go for it. How about those Lamborghini guys when they do the uh, twin turbos out of the trunk? Or they cage Ooh. front end, or they do something different. You see, that is a what I would call the 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 few special editions of that side of the car world. Yeah, no. And I only say this because let's be for real. I'm pretty sure they are the fuckboys of that side of the world. Oh yeah, no, they're frowned upon. You get me? Like, why would you cut up a fucking perfectly fine car bumper to stick a massive twin turbo setup with the most crazy design butterfly chromed out exhaust I've ever seen in my fucking life? And you're two-stepping and banging like it's nobody's fucking business, <laughs> but they're doing it, and it looks fucking awesome. It makes my heart swell. No, you get me? That is a perfect example you brought up. they the back half of their car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you brought a perfectly good example. I'm pretty sure... They are frowned upon. You think so? Hard. I think they get it probably worse than what we do to, like, the syndicates. Nah. Think about it. You're going to pay X amount of money to own that, to get that car. 100 grand. Let's call it, let's start off 200 grand. And you're going to have our mentality of, like, yo, get the Dremel. <laughs> get the saws off. Stop being a pussy. Get the goggles. Let's do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
Ooh, clearance. Like, you know me. I love cutting shit. I know, I know, I know. If nothing gets these nipples harder that I can cut diamonds <laughs> with, so stupid. is give me a fucking vent and go, yo, make this. You fit. think that will work? My eyes, you will see the stars. Okay, <laughs> they're glistening right now. Just thinking of the fucking thought, and I have problems because I shouldn't be like this. <laughs> you shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should just like be collecting Pokemon cards. Yeah, There's some you, shit. You did it great. With yeah, that. you're probably right. I probably would not been in this hobby at all. <laughs> but to be fair, I'd probably be like one of those fucking guys with the Bugatti. <laughs> you do have an insane memorabilia collection. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm a nerd. I'm you know, I'm a video gamer. No, no, no. A, a, sp- a particular character. Yes, obviously. I drive with a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog on my hood on my truck. Yes, I'm a Sonic fan. What well, gave it away? The socks I have on? Because, yes, I got socks. And Fuck you, you. A Sonic Fuck hoodie. Fuck yeah, I love this hoodie. That's his, like, probably, like, eighth one that I've seen. Yeah, yeah, no, I have, I have these by, like, the dozens. Um, Fuck you. All right, fuck I'm just you. saying. <laughs> I have it, a problem, but I admit my shit. Right. It, it's, you're that guy. Yeah, no, 100%. I'm a, I'm a bag of uh, surprises. That's you can say is. that. <laughs> Speaking of, of one of the surprises, what? Tell these motherfuckers what platform. Oh we're wow, on. wow! That was a very good segue into this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was actually pure coincidental. Like actually, I wasn't even up. thinking Come about on. it. Come on. Um, yes, officially as of uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, C4 is officially part of Walmart. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna let that sit in the game for a second. You can buy your condoms, milk, rope, and then get some headlights. Why you would want to do that entire fucking list is beyond me, but hey, not going to stop you. (laughs) But before you guys go running to Walmarts, relax. Walmart.com. But if you do search for C4 Lifestyle, um, you are slowly starting to see some of the headlights show up. I do plan on having like exclusive stuff with Walmart, like uh, custom branded C4 Walmart stuff play around with their colors and uh, colorway and all that shit for headlights. But like I said, I'll be posting a lot more things on uh, on IG. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's awesome. It's a new it's a new avenue to pursue. Hold on. And I never thought in my fucking life I would be saying I can buy eggs and toilet paper and C4 lights. All in the same spot. <laughs> well, listen, you've been, so, doing a lot, you've been breaking a lot of ground lately. Trying to. Trying to. I have been trying. Times Square? Yes. That was the highlight of my life right now. The Times Square. Route 46. Yep. Second. Walmart. Yep. Third. (laughs) We had all these companies reaching out to us as far as the podcasts go. So far. Anybody yet? No, no. Not yet. We're still... We get to pick and choose this time around, which is nice. And, And we're only in our third season, dude. Yes. And they laughed at this. Yep, a few did. A few did laugh. Mm. But never let them know what's coming. Um, what's uh, the, uh, a saying I, I li- quite literally live by? Uh, short steps, long vision. Oh, I thought you were going to say take it one inch at a time. It's only on the weekends. <laughs> 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 but uh but no it, it is exciting like i said it's it's surreal to the point because like i said i say it joking i'm gonna buy some toilet paper and look for some headlights and and you can it's my entire like my favorite part, what <laughs> what you should go, what you guys should do go on walmart and you're gonna buy latex gloves rope shovel <laughs> hold on and uh, dirt, and then buy the C4 headlights. And I trust, trust me, you will get a special knock at your door. <laughs> oh, and bleach. Bleach and ammonia. You got to buy that too. Oh, guys, don't do that. <laughs> please don't. Just fucking please don't. I promise you they'll come in and greet uh, you and give you bracelets. Yes, and a good place free to bracelets sleep. and everything. And uh, shoes. But and it is funny because when I did announce it. A roommate? You're so fucking stupid. Uh, I did get like two, three guys that sent me a video of like the automotive section. In the video, you hear them like, yo, where are you? Like, I'm, I'm looking here. You're not here. I was like, guys, that's why I'm going to sing it again. Walmart.com. Not in the physical store yet. 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 That's another asterisk. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Complete whole different thing. Uh, but again, working, working on it. 
Also, I want to talk about something else. What? These Z-Lights. Well, what about them? Dude, I'm watching you do some crazy shit. I'm getting more creative. I'm Where getting the fuck more was that with mine? Um, <laughs> you were booing a pussy. You didn't want me to crack your headlights open. Yeah, because you would make me have fucking terrible diarrhea. Because <laughs> I would send you pictures of your headlights in pieces. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see it. Yeah, but that takes the whole fun out of it. If you notice, George only sends me finished pictures. Like, yeah, no, I did notice that, actually. I did apart. notice. I did notice and that. And me have had a, a thorough conversation. Yeah, but you told him, listen, don't send me things because it makes I my stomach hurt. too. I said, bro, he bugging me out. Stop sending me wire pictures. And you said... <laughs> if you don't like that, you're really not gonna like this. Hey, look at the cling, look at the cling, <laughs> cling, 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 cling. Look at your housing right next to my boiler. <laughs> it sounded like you were punching the sonic rings out of my phone, dude. Um, but that takes you know that's the fun part. No, for you. Not yeah, for you're me. right. It makes my whole entire day when you, when I hear your call and I hear the echo of the bathroom because I know you're shitting yourself because you just got the pictures I just sent you. Yeah, this it makes good. That makes my heart swell. That used to bother me so bad. It makes my heart swell. That's why you'll never open Knowing up my headlights and taillights again. <laughs> why? When I'm the reason I've given you diarrhea for the day. <laughs> now I have head, uh, I have eyelids now. Yes, that actually they come out really good. George did, George did do a really good job with that. Uh, but I am getting a... Uh, I've been lucky enough to have the, the few Z guys and, and, and girls I've done a few lights for. Uh, be like, hey, just go nuts. Make it look dope. When are you going to start implementing the eyelid? I don't know. To be honest, I have to get the like the one crazy guy that's like, "Hey, can you just make me an eyelid?" Really? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because so far, it's really been the creative aspect of, uh, I don't know. I like this that's on that light, and I like this other thing that you did on this other light. Can can you just like make that work inside this other light? And I'm just like, mm, okay. You know, I've had half a half a mind to make my eyelids mm -hmm. like. Cut off the size and, and whatever the shit is. Make it out of like fiberglass or mm -hmm. send it somewhere and say, all right, make a hundred of them and throw it up on eBay and let people buy it. Yeah, why not? People would make money. Yeah, why not? Also, I got a good idea for a Passat wing. What? Uh, it's a duck bill. Oh, okay. And it's it shapes perfectly. What it does is... <sighs> you want to get into the Euro parts? I, I got one already. It okay. just, it's a little bit of a shaven, mm -hmm. but it's it's a Passat wing, okay. a duck bill. Okay. And I, I, I got it ordered. I can get them for dirt cheap, and they don't make this part. We can resell it for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> hundreds? <laughs> just hundreds well, of dollars? Well, if I can dollars. buy it for 98 bucks on eBay and then flip it for 300 because it comes off of another car. I mean, that's fine. We can, we can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about it after. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I got a lot of ideas like, lately. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> this is why I send you pieces of your headlights so you can go shit yourself all day. <laughs> work. Um, but, no, it is fun. Like I said, it is fun. I, can, I have other things I'm slowly working on. And to be honest, guys, this whole conversation started off with us talking about a car show. Yes, for those that did not pick this up, we are semi-contemplating this on... And if you guys have any locations or want to help in any sort of way... Yeah, no, drop a, definitely drop a DM because uh, the more people we can get on board, the better. And quite honestly, the, the better outcome the, the event can be. Uh, if you guys know of any locations or... I don't know. Just anything. Anything that you bring to the table, pretty much. Because like I said, this is an idea. This is nothing on paper yet. This is nothing like, oh my God, it's going to happen next week. Uh, it's just ideas floating around. Because I, we have ideas like every other fucking day, randomly, to be honest. D'Angelo so, had a good idea. Which is? With all the models with OnlyFans, right? Okay. Whoever can post the most hardcore content would win. And we get to watch it. Like, that, it'd no. be on a stage and no. we have to read. No, 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 nope. I'm not, nope, I'm not going down this rabbit hole. Nope, I am not. D'Angelo <laughs> had the idea. Was, yeah, no, I believe him. I believe him. I know he has some good ideas like that before. Yep, nope. Count me out. Really? No, no, I know where this is going to go. This can end very badly. He said something about a tentacle. What? And uh, a hundred pound woman or something like that. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody, for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't want to. No, no. What, two 10 mils in a cup? Like, is that? No, it was. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about it off camera. <laughs> People are going to think I'm <laughs> fucked up. Ah, uh, what the fuck are we going to name this one? Clickbait or? No, no, no. Um. 
We'll talk supercars about it against offline. supercars against. No, no. Uh, Whatever. We'll get creative. But anyway, what has been your story? Have you fallen upon this that they've looked down on you for any car that you've built or what you own, or they think you're they they're better than you? Post it up in the poll. Yes and no. And uh, next week, I'll actually read the other poll that we had last week because the results are in, and it's actually quite funny. The, really? the percentages, yeah. But too lazy to get to my phone. So you know what? I don't care. I'll do it next week. All right. Because I can. Like the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Another awesome episode. Keep it custom because life's way too short to stay stock. Later, babe.